are preparing to tear down what's left of the building on Brightman Street in Fall River following last night's fire. It was breaking last night at 6. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez talked to Fall River's fire chief about last night's response. She joins us now live in studio with what the chief had to say. Alex. Well, Mike Shannon, the demolition process was actually originally set to start this evening, but that will have to wait because demolition crews say that the equipment is just not big enough. It's now set to take place tomorrow once the right equipment comes in. Excavators now sit outside a historic building on Brightman Street in Fall River. Fire crews have been monitoring the building all day to make sure no more hot spots pop up. That's after spending hours fighting the blaze Tuesday afternoon. It's very difficult to get to, to get water onto the fire because of the building, because of the size, because of the proximity, because of the area, because of the train tracks. The building is a total loss. The roof collapsed, parts of the building are charred. But the fire chief is grateful it wasn't worse. It was quite a monumental task to keep the fire from actually exposing or uh, taking control of those buildings as well. With Fall River's history of major fires, the fire department has plans in place for areas they consider to be potentially hazardous. The former theater and casket manufacturer was on that list, so crews already knew what to do to prevent the worst case scenario. There's a lot of times you can't stop a fire that large, but the if you can prevent it, particularly if a house is within 10 feet, that's that we consider that a safe. Now the big question remains, what caused that fire? There was no uh, utility servicing that building at this time, so we are considering that there's uh, you know, the other options of how it may have started. Arson is not out of the question. A reward of up to $5,000 is even being offered if you know who did it. But the answer may not come that easy. So fires are very difficult to uh, investigate because a lot of the um, evidence gets burned away. And the fire department is asking anyone with any information or video of the area to give them a call. Reporting live in studio, Alex Torres Perez, 12 News.